Hi everyone, this is James. Now I know it's been a long time since my last video, but I think I've got some really good connections that show us that we are in the end times and that we are close to the rapture of the church and the start of the tribulation. So let me get started. Proverbs 7, 19 through 20. For the good man is not at home. He is gone a long journey. He hath taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. So are we close to this day appointed? Well, we're just going to take a look what the numbers show us. And they may or may not show us the correct timing. But we know that we are, we believe that we're in the season. So let me, let me get started. Now I want to show you some results that I put in timeanddate.com's calendar tool and some pretty interesting results and some numbers that keep on recurring. So let me get started. Now September 23rd, 2017, so we believe that was a Revelation 12 sign, which was very significant, we believe, to January 8th, 2023, that's today. The result is interesting, 1933 days. So you got 33 there. 33 means promise and then five years three months and 16 days now five means grace three means Trinity it put 53 together uh, another number that keeps recurring 53 and also Isaiah 53 is basically the gospel in the Old Testament and then you got 316 like John 316 so that's pretty pretty interesting and again the same date September 23rd 2017 we believe that is Revelation 12 sign and I put in January 22nd, 2023, and a very interesting day. You got 1947, 1947 days. Okay, so that'd be the year before Israel, be, you know, became a state, was established. And they also got five years and three months and then 30 days. So again, the 53. And then I also put in, again, September 23rd, 2017 to January 23rd, so the day after. Um, and that's 1948 days. So that was when we, when Israel was born, you know, as a state, and we believe that the prophecy clock started the fig tree generation. So I just thought that was very cool. That was very interesting. Those results. So I'm going to continue. Now, if you take a look at October the 22nd, 2022, you know, we believe that, you know, when the new moon was spotted that was the actual feast of trumpets that's what we believe or many believe and then if you go again to january the 9th 2023 so a, you know a few days from now that is 74 days now in gematria 74 means cross and that's basic gematria so again that's significant if you've seen my previous videos you'll, you'll know the significance of that Okay, and you also, so 74 or 47, again, that, you know, constantly is repeating. And then November the 7th, that's when we had the blood moon, uh, 2022 to January 9th, that's 63 days, and also two months and two days. Okay, so, you know, that's very interesting. And I'll go through these quite quickly. Now, if you take a look at May 14th, 1948, that's when Israel became a state, okay, the country was born, to January 9th, 2023, that's 27,268 days, but, but look at this, 74 years, again, there's a 74, 7 months and 26 days, 74, okay, that's how many years, you know, Israel is um, old, and then you got 7 months, and 7, we know, uh, that I've talked about many times as divine perfection and then 26 again I've talked about many times 26 is God's number so that is pretty interesting results and my birthday May 7th 1974 to January 9th 2023 you'll see 17,779 days again there's the 777 connection and also I didn't include this uh, the slide, but if you went to December the 22nd, or sorry, December the 27th, 2022, that was 7,777 days. Okay, so it's pretty interesting how 
all these sevens and you know in Revelation seven is all over the place so I thought that was very cool and again it's 48 years eight months and two days okay and if you take a look down here from September 11th 2001 which you know is a big event that changed this world just like you know what just happened with the pandemic to January 9th, 2023, that's 7790, 7,790 days, and you got 21 years, three months, and 29 days. Um, so you've got 21 means deception, three, you know, that's Holy Spirit, Trinity, and then 29 means resurrection or departure, can mean departure. And then this one I showed earlier, uh, September 23rd, 2017 to, to January 8th. So today, 1933, five years, three months, 16 days. So just really, really inter interesting patterns and connections that we're seeing. And, you know, these numbers keep on repeating. So, you know, it just, you know, it's just amazing. Now, I thought this was very interesting and I want to include this slide. Now, if you take a look at January 9th, 2023 so tonight at midnight or tomorrow if you subtract 120 days exactly you're going to land on September the 11th 2022 and we know that as 9-11 okay of course we all remember the 911 that uh, event that happened the twin towers falling back in September the 11th of 2001 so you know definitely marks the end time period I believe that event and now if you take a look at the significance of 120 you see that it means divine period of probation and this is 120 is linked to the, the biblical meanings okay and the biblical meaning would be again divine period of probation so numbers mean have meanings in the Bible so that's that's why I'm bringing this up so is not that amazing you know could we be at the end of a divine period of probation I don't know but it is possible and again you see 153 fruit bearing and again I want to show you something else and near the near the end of this video I'm going to talk about again 9-11 and if you take a look at 119 or 119 that means resurrection or the Lord's day so you know, and, you know, actually, I'll, I'll talk about that later. So let me continue. Now, I included this slide when 911 happened back September 11, 2001 to December the 27th, 2022. I made reference to that earlier. Now, that is 7777 days or 7,777 days. And that's 21 years and three months. 16 days so like there's 316 again so I just want to make mention of 48 means tabernacle dwelling place so you know you know Israel was born 1948 my age right now is 48 and you know it keeps coming up so I just want to bring it up and then 119 is resurrection or Lord's Day I mentioned and 153 we keep on seeing that means fruit bearing so you know that you know is God going to take His church out? You know the pre-trib rapture, and and then you know turn His attention to Israel. You know there's going to be fruit bearing here, so you know that's why I, I believe that uh, it's so important these numbers. And then if you take a look at December the 27th, 2022 to January 9th, 2023, that's 13 days. Now, 13 means depravity, lost, and rebellious. And then 14, so if you're talking about a day later at midnight, it could be deliverance and salvation. So, you know, these numbers are saying something. They have meanings. So that's why I'm, I'm, show, I'm bringing this to your attention. So let me continue. Now, if you take a look at, this is when I received this matrix, or lack of a better term, a divine download. And I've, I've created a lot of videos about it uh, on my on my channel. I've posted them. And if you go from May 25th, 2021, and that was a, the day before the uh, it was a lunar. I think it was a lunar eclipse that happened. 
And if you go to January 9th, 2023, that's 594 days exactly. Um, that's one year, seven months, and 15 days, or 19 months, 15 days. Now, if you take a look at 594 in Strong's Concordance, it means to plummet, okay, and or plumb line vertical with a plumb, okay, so basically a measurement, okay. Now, and then over here, if you take a look to the uh, far right, you got probably from an unused route, meaning to be narrow according to most a plumb line and to others a hook. And we know about the hook in the jaw, you know, and uh, what is it? I believe it's an Ezekiel, Ezekiel, and then plumb line. So, and if you take a look here, you got January 9th, just so happens, January 9th, 2023, to my birthday this year, it's exactly 118 days. And then you see hook, again, that's, you know, another, you know, possible connection or just really cool, kind of cool, means 118 in Gematria, and then also 49, and that's how, that's my age going to be. Um, actually, May 7th, my age will be 49. So that's pretty cool. Uh, very interesting. And it, it's from Amos uh, 77. 7. So again, you got it 7 7. It keeps on recurring. Um, so it just, just very cool. It's just interesting numbers. And if you take a look at the left side, there's a, a piece of the major. I didn't mention that. That's just a little snapshot. But I'm going to talk a sl little bit about that. Yeah. So let me continue. Now, I just wanted to show you this clock in. This was based. Um, from the Fibonacci golden uh, spiral, or it's actually God's fingerprint. And again, you're seeing 9-11, and you're seeing how these numbers are really, pro um, and it really stand out. You've got one, and then nine small, so it could be one, nine, okay? And then 23, could, you know, could be this year, 9-11, you know, because the months were switched back 153 BCE, you know, I don't know if God would take that into account. And, you know, I, I, you know, I'm not saying the rapture is going to happen, but I think it's really cool that all these numbers, you know, you're seeing and you see the hook here. You're seeing 53 Isaiah, you know, 53, you know, also the, you'll see, see the parable of the 153 fish. And you got 9-11 here, so I just want to bring this up again. Now, I've talked about this clock in, in the past videos, but I don't want to spend a lot of time with it. But I just wanted to show you, that's really cool. Now, in in my matrix that I received, you've got two, okay? I'm not going to get into a lot of detail explain this. But anyway, this is part of the matrix, and it a calculation, we've got two. And then 9 square root would be 3, so that would be 23. And then you got 11, 9, 11 again. So it could be January the 9th, 2023. Or, you know, you got 23. So, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, that is the date. But I just thought that was really interesting. Again, it's showing up in this matrix. You know, I don't know if it relates or not. Um, you know, and it could be in the, you know, in the future, it could be, could be weeks, months, years. I, I don't know, but I just wanted to show you these numbers because they keep on recurring. And this was another part of the matrix. And then 911, you know, I put in there, um, you know, I divinely led. I feel by the by the Lord. You know, I just showed a small uh, part of this matrix, but I just want to give you a point across that 911 is definitely significant. So let, let me continue. Now I want to end this part of the video on this verse, Revelation 1.10. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Now we believe that John was raptured at this time, you know, is, and is with the saints in heaven. And from this period on, he's seeing what is happening in the tribulation. Okay, that's that's what many uh, Bible scholars believe. Now, I think that's a very good possibility. 
And if you take a look at Revelation 1.10, now if the rapture happens, say 9-11, uh, so January the 9th, 2023, if it happened, I'm not saying it is, but if it happened at the, on the 9th at midnight, it would go into the 10th. So could that possibly a connection indicate the rapture of the church? I don't know, but I, I just thought that was really, that was kind of cool. It was very interesting. So I'm going to end here. Um, I'm going to show you another video and uh, I, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, I also would like to share part of this post, and it's from Isaiah 53's YouTube channel, and it's called 911 Rapture Code, January the 9th. And I'm just going to skip down here and start here. I'm wondering about January 9th. Remember, in Latin, November equals 9, December equals 10. And January used to be month 11, but after 153 BCE, which is interesting number sequence, we got the parable 153 fish in the New Testament, for example, and Mencius Januarius in Latin became the first month of the Roman calendar. Now well, that's very interesting. So this means the 9th of January equals 911. You know what else this means? 11 January equals 1111. So I thought that was very interesting. I, w I didn't realize, I, I knew that the uh, calendar was changed, but I, I didn't know how so I just thought that was very interesting reading and I also want to include this because in my matrix in a few different spots 911 is very prominent So I, I thought that was really Interesting connection also 153 53 is also, you know All throughout the the Bible is very significant numbers like Isaiah 53 is basically uh, the gospel in the Old Testament. So I, I just want to share that with you. So, you know, I really believe that we're in the end times now. And, you know, it's really, this is a 911 for those that, you know, do not believe in Jesus Christ. If you don't believe in Jesus Christ, you know, the rapture could happen tonight. It could happen, you know, very soon. We don't know the day of the hour, but we know we're in the end times. So, we got to keep looking, and if, if you're watching this video after the rapture, then you're going to want to turn to the two witnesses in Israel when they come on the scene, and turn to Revelation 11:3 in, in the Bible. So please like and share this video with all your family and friends. Thank you very much for watching.